Good day everyone, I am Gian Leslie Alduhina from ECA 112L Section B15 together along with John Patrick de Guzman and our core subject advisor, Ms. Marianne Sehera. This documentation will be separated into four agendas, theories, concept, circuit and activity results, conclusion, and activity time lapse. A pump signal is generated from a pure sine wave modulating signal and a square wave generator which produce the carrier pulse and a pump modulator circuit. Based on the previous activity in which pulse amplitude modulation was briefly discussed, it is demonstrated by a sine wave generator in which it is based on the on the Wyan bridge oscillator circuit. This can produce distortion, less sine wave at the output, the circuit is designed such the amplitude and the frequency of the oscillator can be adjusted using a potentiometer. For this activity, the participants were needed to use LTSPICE software to develop a circuit for pulse modulation for pulse amplitude demodulation. The purpose of this task is for pulse modulate pulse amplitude modulators receive signal to travel through a holding circuit and a low pass filter with the output labeled as a demodulated signal. Demodulation is a signal transmission technique in which the original or information signal is obtained from the carrier wave. On the other side, a demodulator is a sort of circuit that is used to recover this information and restore it to the carrier wave. The pulse amplitude modulation is a sort of pulse modulation that involves sampling an analog signal and then converting it into pulses of changing amplitude, where the amplitude, position, and width are all determined by the, by the analog samples amplitude. This activity will be performed with the help of LTSPICE software, which will gather all required data and waveforms. This activity was accomplished using LT Spice in which it is recommended by our core subject advisor. The aim of this experiment is to be able to construct a pulse amplitude demodulated signal as well as the waveforms of the holding circuit and the low pass filter circuit. The low pass filter is signal is supplied the pump signal. The demodulated signal is generated after the high pass filter reduces the high frequency ripples. This signal is then applied to the inverting amplifier to amplify its signal level to, to have a demodulated output with almost equal amplitude with the modulating signal. PAM is used or pulse amplitude modulation is used in the Ethernet network which is used to connect two systems and used to transfer data among these systems. In conclusion, Pulse Amplitude Modulation or PAM is used to Ethernet communications. This modulation technique is mostly used in di digital data transmission and applications changed change by PCM or PPM. To finalize today's activity, here is the time lapse in where John Patrick and I created and simulated the given circuit for demodulating a pulse, ampli pulse amplitude modulation signal. Hello guys, I'm John Patrick. G is one from ECA 1128 section of B15. Uh, today's video, I will generate a or conducting an experiment which is the demo to late a pump signal. I will show you how to simulate this activity using the spice.